So our design um, needs to um, ventilate. You know, it, it needs to. We need we need to get air through this thing. So I need to add some vents to it. I'm going to show you two really great tools for doing this. If you just want to scatter about in a in a pattern, um, some kind of a, a hole or a cut uh, across a face and keep it a certain distance from the sides, <laughs> we've got a great tool that's intended to do that exactly. It's called the fill pattern. A lot of people aren't familiar with this. Um, when I go to the fill pattern, I say, okay, this, this surface here is my fill boundary, right? I have various layouts for the pattern. I like this one. I'm going to use the perforation type fill pattern. And down here, I could either select a feature to fill into that face or use some predefined shapes down here. So I got squares, diamonds, polygons, circles are good. Let's change the diameter of that, make them smaller, okay? Now up here, let's change the spacing between each one of them. I'll make it about six millimeters. That gives me a whole bunch of circles. This value right here is the distance from the boundary, from the edges of this. And let's actually look at a right view so we can see this a little easier. Okay, that looks good. So if I change the distance from the edge to five millimeters, I get a bunch, I get a lot more holes, right? I'll change it back to 10. The other thing you can do is in this interface down here, I can come down here and say, well, let's skip some of these instances. I'm going to clean up some of the holes around the, uh, the grip, right? So I just click on these little uh, handles that show up. That should be good. We finish that off. And there we go. We have our preparations right through there, allowing good airflow.